good morning hopefully all of you guys out there are having a fantastic day my uh my, my morning is is it's going it's going <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's early it's about uh 6 13 right now 6 13 a.m on friday april 17th 2023 and we're here inside of TaskRabbit, which is a gig app. It's a platform that allows you to get connected with other uh, individuals in your local community um, or around the country um, who can help you with various needs. In this particular instance, I did a search for uh, a local um, mover, help with moving here inside of Boston. And I'm actually a tasker here on TaskRabbit as well. Uh, I mean, I do various things. Some of you know me for my sales and marketing consulting. I'm actually in the process right now of releasing our brand new CRM sales enablement tool for self-employed individuals, for consultants, for contractors, for specifically those of you who are part of the TaskRabbit community. And um, ultimately, one thing I want to point out, though, is that if you want to be part of, you know, any of these particular gig apps, and, and when I say part of, I mean, if you want to play the game, really, is what it comes down to, then you have to play the game. And there are rules and there are, you know, little kind of stipulations, so to speak, that you have to work with if you want to to kind of dominate the game. Right now, Kevin is dominating the game. My, my man, my man, Kevin, who I, I work with Kevin um, uh, on occasion. I haven't worked with him in a while, but uh, he's a good dude here in Boston and um, someone I would, you know, I would co-sign. I would recommend him. Um, I have no problem with doing so, even though he got me right now on that number one spot where, you know, I would say I, I felt that I would be, you know, for, for quite a while, for at least two, three years, I feel confident, say, I would generally be in that number one spot, if not top three. And I'm not in either of those spots, any, any, either, any of those three spots. I'm in either by these top two, Max. I've never worked with Max, so I can't really recommend him or say cosign or anything. I'm not going to downplay him, but I would say looking at his profile, he has um, obviously completed a couple hundred jobs. And, um, you know, he has a five-star rating um, with almost 300 reviews. So, you know, and then at that, so there's some credibility there, but then his rate is, an, I would say, an affordable rate. So, you know, I can, I can see why TaskRabbit would say, okay, this is a great value tasker. If we scroll back up to Kevin, we can see Kevin has done way more jobs, all right? Let me hide this right here. Uh, Kevin has done way more jobs and also has a lot more reviews as well. I mean, his reviews surpass his max's total number of jobs. And for that reason, his rate is higher. And this is, to me, a, a, uh, a low rate for a mover. For If you're hiring someone to help you with that has experience, um, you know, with moving things, furniture, precious things, your belongings, things that you value, that you spend all of your time and energy to invest in, to buy, and then you have to relocate to a new place, or maybe it's for a business, then, you know, you should be paying for, you know, the how much you value your belongings. So in my, to me, um, I would say this is like a low rate. If anything, now again, TaskRabbit is a business that needs to make their money. So, if you want to dominate here on TaskRabbit, meaning you want to be in a top spot when you come to hire someone for moving, they automatically show you the recommended filter. Now you can change this and say, "Well, I don't want to go who they go by who they say is recommended." Um, you know, but again, their criteria probably based off of what I see here. And he has an elite badge right now. Um, to me, I would say this is understandable and legit why they say he is a number one um, 
recommended tasker. But as you start to scroll down and look at others and you say, okay, well, he's number one. So if this is the criteria we're going to go off of, we're going to say we're going to we're going to judge it off of the um, total moving tasks overall. We're going to judge it by how many specifically have um, uh, uh, been help moving because help moving is actually there. There are more than just help moving under the moving uh, category ultimately because it's heavy lifting. And I think that is included here when they say moving tasks overall. And then there's um, full service moving as well. But specifically under this category, 788, and then a five-star uh, average, and then 775 reviews with the Elite Badge. That's the criteria we're going off of. And you got to consider where he is pricing his currently his current hourly rate, which I will point out and say, I'll make another video on this. This is bogus too. Not even with what some people will, well, no, some of you are going to defend automatically and say, oh, automatically, um, uh, uh, the initial thought is going to be, I'm referring to this, the trust and support fee. No, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> this is why I mean, task rabbits get in on some, some iffy stuff, but you can still make a lot of money here. And you have to play the game. Right now, I'm not killing it on TaskRabbit. But I'm about to play the game again. I'm making changes. I just started to implement some changes. And so, Kevin is killing the game right now. Because his rate is a rate where TaskRabbit is saying, okay, where we think this is, you know, again, I believe it's a low, it's low for, if you want, you know, professional moving help. Someone to take care of your precious belongings. I believe this is a low hourly rate here in Boston, at least. Maybe if you're in the middle of, you know, the boonies of Maine or Iowa or I don't know, wherever, that is much less populated than, and there's going to be less experienced movers, then I believe, okay, I can see how the hourly rate that they recommend can be in this range or lower. But otherwise, I feel like it should be higher. But again, if you want to be here on this spot on TaskRabbit, if you want to play the game, then you have to work with what they want. And this is the thing that's starting to, I'm not a fan of recently with some of the changes they've made over the past year, two years. Um, I'd say, yeah, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> so again, it's early and I'm just kind of venting, but I also think this will be helpful for a lot of you out there who are like, why aren't I making more money on TaskRabbit? Well, one, it's it's a slow time of the year and it's about to pick up. Spring is here and this time of the year things pick up. Um, and uh, at least here in Boston, I would say. And uh, and specifically under, you know, I, well, I think across the board. Um, but you also have to just be mindful of how the economy is as a whole. So that is going to influence uh, how often people are just buying extra furniture from Ikea, for example, which is own, who owns TaskRabbit, um, or just other furniture where they're going to need someone to move that furniture or assemble that furniture. And so be mindful of that. And that's why I'm not trying to completely knock it. I get it. TaskRabbit's a business, just like all of us here. Kevin is a business. You might look at him and just say, oh, this is just a per like some individual. All right, well, this person is a business owner. And Kevin G., you know, might have a business name. It's not on here, but uh, it, it is his business. And that's a good point. You know, might be mindful, maybe throw in your business name. I don't know. I don't currently do anything like that, but uh, just saying you, you got to you got to play the game. And so scrolling down and just keeping it moving, you can see other people here where like Kyle S. He's the third person they're showing. His rate is higher than Max's. And he has a 4.7 rating. Um, and he's only, but he's only done, you know, 51 help moving or 68 moving jobs here on TaskRabbit. So it makes sense why he is number three because, you know, or I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it definitely makes sense why he's number three because he hasn't done as many jobs as the top two and his rating is a 4.7. And furthermore, his hourly rate is higher than Max. So some would say Max could increase his rate. But it may be because of how many jobs he's done, he might fall down and not 
maintain his great value, or maybe he will, you know, and this is the thing you got to fluctuate. You got to change your hourly rate. If you're a tasker and you're trying to get, get up here higher, you got to come in here and literally change your hourly rate and then look and see where you appear on the map. Because I wasn't showing up on page one up until today where I decided, let me drop my hourly rate. And now here I am. But again, when I look at the criteria of everything, I'm like, what is going on? So what else does TaskRabbit consider? And this is, I think, going to be helpful for a lot of you out there, because I believe when I look at my profile and I say, OK, I have a five star rating, 633 reviews, 768 help moving tasks out of 999 moving tasks overall, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool, actually. I like that. 999. Um, but I want it higher. Now I do. I mean, I've been focused on other aspects of my businesses. For example, I mentioned TR Growth CRM, which if you guys go to go to trgrowthcrm.com, you'll probably get a coming soon or by the time this video is up, which I may just post it today, um, you'll probably see coming soon or you might see the actual video and can actually sign up and use what I believe is the best sales enablement tool for freelancers and independent contractors part of the gig economy and if you're part of let me throw out if you're not currently using TaskRabbit and you're just learning about it now maybe or you're on other gig apps and if you do use TR Growth CRM let me know because I will get it included in the mix because it's it's a tool that I've designed to help you grow your sales and manage your customers out of the box meaning you don't need to pay or spend hours and hours to customize and configure your CRM, your platform to help you manage your customers and sales. Instead, I've already done all of that hard work. I've invested my time and energy and money that I've made from work I've done here on TaskRabbit. I've reinvested it back into my business, which now I'm trying to serve, help serve, you know, not just the, thou the, the hundreds of people that I've helped here do moving jobs, um, on TaskRabbit, but then help, you know, also other taskers who want to make more money because having a CRM, having the ability to manage your customers and gain valuable sales insight into your business will help you make smarter moves and decisions to grow your business and make more money. And that's ultimately what it comes down to you guys wanting to make more money and, uh, you know, uh, ultimately kind of save time, allow you to do more things with your free time, spend time with your family, you know, focus on other things with me. A lot of what I do with my free time is reinvest it back in my business because I continue to grind and like I just enjoy the grind. Like I like building things. I like working on projects. And so, you know, that's who I am. And some people are like, oh, you're crazy. And, you know, it is what it is. Um, but in any case, I, I came in here today and I decided, let me make some tweaks to my account. You know, I'm literally letting people know, hey, I have a reduced spring rate right now. So I'm lowering my rate. So I believe my rate should be higher. So if someone goes and look for a legit professional mover, they're going to say, OK, like this makes sense. Because if we went to a moving company and hired one or two movers to move our my, my one bedroom apartment, or my small office, how much am I going to pay? And oftentimes, it'll be much, much higher than what you're seeing on the screen right now for an hourly rate. You know, two, three times, four times higher per hour. And, um, you know, when you're someone who comes from an experienced background and you've done you know you've spent the hours you've learned you've tr you've literally went through training and um you know just have experience m multiple magnitudes of situations where you're moving various items it helps to show why your value should be higher than someone else and what I mean by that is my hourly rate right now, again, I lowered my rate. So now I'm actually showing up on page one, which I was not doing for uh, for a bit because my rate was higher. <clears throat> but since I want to play the game, I said, OK, I'm going to cut my rate drastically. Right. But now here we are. I'm on page one. Now, this is 
technically the highest I'm able to really see myself going. I mean, maybe if I drop my rate down to like $50 an hour or something, I don't know, maybe that would propel me up there to get that the great value, which I had yesterday, last night when I just tweaked it. So technically I tweaked it last night before I went to bed um, just to kind of test it out. And I appeared here on page one and I had the great value badge. But for some reason today I woke up and I no longer have the great value badge and my green hourly rate thing. If you're a tasker, you know what I'm talking about actually was like a little higher than it was. So they actually, it was like they lowered everything a little bit, one tear down, you know, one, one little drop down. So I don't know, that was strange, but again, the weird thing is at this point, I can't get higher right now. So what is the other criteria that TaskRabbit is considering and what are they even considering? Because let's be honest, when I look and I say, okay, well, my hourly rate is just a dollar more than this gentleman's hourly rate, but yet <laughs> he has a, and no, no, I'm not laughing at him, but I'm laughing at the situation because he has a 4.9 rating. I have a 5.0 rating. He has 93 help moving tasks. I have 768 help moving tasks and he's done 191 help uh, uh, moving tasks overall. And I've done 999 moves. I mean, it doesn't compare. And yet he is showing higher in their recommended filter than me. And I'm sure, you know, and this isn't just about me. I'm just, this is me going through, I'm doing a personal uh, task rabbit kind of analysis and um, just trying to, again, position myself so I can get in the best position possible to start grinding and making more money here through task rabbit. Now, of course, I still make money off of task rabbit. I'll, I'll say it, say it now. It's probably going to be part of the tips like that will probably be part of the TR growth uh, community that um, I'll be building out that I am building out right now. That's going to be part of the TR growth CRM uh, platform and experience, because I believe the the other component that these CRMs out there are missing is, is some kind of guidance that actually helps you with your business. And that's what I, uh, you know, I want to do. I want to help other taskers out there make more money and be in a position where you can even say, okay, this is low. Because I believe $78 an hour for moving, where you're putting your body through strenuous work, uh, I believe is 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 low. And um, I, at least based off of my experience in the years and years of moving heavy, you know, furniture or just things through unique spaces, tight, you know, or just getting a lot of items to fit in my cargo van in one load. I love that, you know. Because other people are like, man, it took us three trips to, <laughs> you know, or it took us two trips to do what you just did in, in one load. And so that that's where, you know, your value, you can say you're worth what you, you know, your value. But when you're on a platform like TaskRabbit, if you want to play the game, you have to play the game, unfortunately. And they have, I don't know, they have their criteria that <laughs> that tells, that says, hey, we're going to recommend um, some people over others in which. I'm on page one now, back where back where I belong, but I'm playing the game. I'm not happy necessarily, but I also again, I, you know, I, I need to start to make more money again. And um, you know, the other good thing is not good thing, but I will be getting a brand new uh, truck. Um, so you know, that's that's gonna change the game a little bit. I'm, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is we're getting rid of my Honda Pilot which I kind of already did, um, but I have to just finalize the decision that I want to do with that. And then uh, might be getting a new motorcycle. I got to decide funky, you know, that's a video for another day. Um, but uh, with the cargo van, you know, I don't know. It's like, eh, it's, it's, I feel like it's on its last leg. I might just try to get rid of that as well. Then I'll have a brand new truck that I'll be working with. And then I can just go back to renting, um, you know, if need be. Uh, you you know U-Hauls and, and bigger moving trucks, um, but yeah, I mean, just looking at the criteria, you know, I want to play the game again, I'm trying to make make get get grinding, start making money again, and um, you know, you just got to look though and say, what is how do I play the game? You know, and some things are just out of your control, right? That's the other thing you have to be mindful of. Like, unfortunately, Task Rabbit has, you know. I don't know. <laughs> like even like this is rate start at 154 cargo van. Woo. 
my man. <laughs> so people gave me a hard time. Like, you charge fifty dollars for your cargo van. I'm like, hey, uh, that was an investment. I include gas and stuff like that. But like, what else does he have in here? One sixty five for a box truck up to twelve months. Like, whoo. Oh uh, wait. Please note that vehicle requests are not available from August. Interesting. So he's already planning for August and stuff. He's thinking ahead, which which is smart. You got to think ahead. But this is crazy. Now, this is probably what he's referring to, I think, at that time. But he's missing out on money, I think. So if you're out here watching this, my man, you, I think you're missing out on money right now. I can do an analysis for you, but, you know, check out TR Grill CRM and then, you know, some of the other options and whatnot. Um, Jeremy H., you know, but now can I even talk trash? I mean, I kind of feel like I can because I bet I've still made way more money than he has, but um, he's higher than me right now. He's showing up higher than me. So when people come to TaskRabbit and do a recommended filter, he's going to have a better chance to get higher than me. So I can't even talk trash in that sense because he's playing the game or he's been playing the game, right? Same with Jeremy. Now, again, what's the what's what else is needed to get yourself to appear high here is the question because... None of these individuals, you know, I think his rate is the same as mine now or or even a little lower. What's my rate at now? 7846. Yep. So it's the same as Jeremy, but I've done way more jobs, right? Way more reviews. We have the same five star rating. Right? Now do you guys I know or I have an idea as to what I believe the other difference is. Do you think do you know what the other difference is? And it's no, it's not a race thing, which <laughs> Kevin G is showing up first, so I, I don't want anyone. Some some of y'all, you know, I I am very vocal on kind of social justice issues and whatnot. Obviously, if you're if you know if you're if there's any kind of sanity in your mind and any kind of logic, you can't deny the history and that it's going to have some impact and influence on current you know current situation, especially when you see things that are being done like down in florida i'm not trying to make this political or anything but let's be honest them preventing any kind of real <laughs> education on I, I mean it's mind-boggling but again video for another day um in this particular instance so no it's nothing to do with that what i believe the other criteria that task rabbit really values ultimately is not necessarily um your total number of jobs that you've completed you know, or just your hourly rate or your rating, right? Because, you know, I have a five-star rating like all of these individuals, but they're all showing up higher than me. The only other difference that you might notice, at least that I'm noticing here off the rip, is that they all have a more current uh, review, a more current customer written review. And so Tuesday, April 4th, Saturday, April 1st, Thursday, April 6th, Monday, April 3rd, Monday, April 3rd, Jeremy, Friday, April 7th. But then this drops down to March 26. So I was like, eh, all right, well, hold up. Like, what's going on here? But he may have done some jobs that were recent that just did not get a customer uh, written review. Right? So I'm giving that, I'm giving that thought or belief there. Then same thing here with Joseph, right? That's kind of what I'm hoping. <laughs> Otherwise, there's uh it doesn't make sense, you know. And then March 27th, right? And then we look at mine, March 22nd. To come down to Antonio. His isn't, his isn't even this year. Now he may have done, he's now I, my assumption is he's done some jobs still. But I don't know. Like to me, this is kind of weird. Like that long ago for a written review. And um, he still has an elite badge right now. So maybe at the minimum, he's done a few jobs. What's needed. Um, but the fact that his rate is this high now, see my rate, I kept it at 100. So that's, that's, I'll be completely honest with you guys. So for those of you who are like, wait, what was even your rate? It was at a hundred dollars an hour, which is my, my standard rate. And I've been reluctant to lower it 
here on TaskRabbit up until now because I want to play the game again. I've been focused on other projects. As I mentioned, the CRM, I have my consulting uh, services and whatnot. So, you know, you got to play the game, right? I wasn't expecting this video to be this long, which is crazy, but <laughs> in any case, um, yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, do you think I am far off on my beliefs as to what TaskRabbit values? Um, uh, you know, I, I can't I can't really tell what else what other factors there are that they are using to justify how someone is going to show up higher than others besides those kind of four or five. Five uh, elements, your rating. Right. Your total number of jobs in that particular that specific group or, or excuse me, that category then your total number of jobs in that kind of group, that category group, your hourly rate, and then your most recent written review. And if not written review, at least complete a job. But I don't think this, I mean, I got to look and see what, what was my last actual task rabbit job. I've had all the, I've had moving like, moving jobs a general labor job since you know since march 22nd but uh, i'm trying to think of the last actual direct task rabbit job um and so in any case yeah the the interesting thing is um i don't know exactly like they'll they'll kind of say it's just off of your ratings you know and we can probably look this up like what exactly does task rabbit um let me see over here i'm gonna do a simple google task rabbit uh, system. That's what I, I did a simple review for that or a poll for that. I'm going to pull this over here. Can you guys see it? Oh, no, because you know what? I'm on my. I'm in an in incognito thing, so. Review system. All right, so uh, let's see what this person says about it. How do you use task rubbery? So there's nothing that's really specifically talking about. I got to do a full task rabbit review video. My bad, my friends. I haven't been been slacking on it in that sense. But like I said, we're about to get back into the mix and go, go ham, go, go uh, back into uh, just me jumping on here, doing it the good old fashioned, raw, uncut, unedited. You know, we're just speaking and keeping it real. Giving you the some, you know, there might be a little junk in here, but. There's some ammo in here. There's some gems. Maybe I'll just I'll cut I'll come through and splice it up as well and give you like a short form version um, as well. Whether you're talking uh, tips from Tasker. Yeah, this isn't giving me what we're looking for. So in any case, my friends, yeah, like I'm sure they have something somewhere that kind of dives into on the on the back end um a little bit that says okay we value you know your hourly rate your rating and your total jobs that you've completed that's probably what they're going to say but like i said i believe it's that slash the last kind of written review that you have from a customer and then also just being in the the, the flow of having completed jobs under the under their system the more jobs you kind of complete for them the more you kind of stay in the mix and the more they're going to continue to recommend you and show you but this is just using recommended filter you know if we go to you know positive reviews kevin is still showing up here as the top dog this is just now on the top three days within three days if we go to a week he's not actually showing up my man matt is so shout out matt but then we see kevin then we see aaron and then we see me so you know, again, what's what's the criteria? I've done more jobs than Aaron, right? But right now, my hourly rate, you know, but this is on positive reviews. So they're doing a percentage base, you know? So 
if we dive into his ratings, you know, there might be no uh, four star ratings, for example, you know, so those little things are going to play a factor when you change it. You know, we go number of completed tasks. My man Matt shows up number one. Kevin shows up number two. And then I'm number three. So uh, one, I want to break this 999 too. We let's let's we got to get to a thousand. Right. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> But all right, my friends, I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, hopefully you found, again, this video helpful as you are starting to uh, venture into TaskRabbit or are trying to make more money here on TaskRabbit and get a better understanding of how you can actually show up higher here inside of their uh, different um, uh, categories or ultimately the recommended tab um, search filters really what I'm sp specifically talking about because all these other ones are really going to be just based off of again how many jobs you've done here on the platform uh, positive reviews so that's going to come down to just trying to just kill every single job um, and your price point right your price point so um, yeah let me know what you guys think Leave a comment down below. Did I miss anything? Is there anything else I'm missing that's not being considered and factored into why I'm maybe not showing up higher? I think what I said, everything kind of makes sense. You know, having a current customer rating or uh, review and something that's public is going to be helpful. I think TaskRabbit values that. They might not say it, but I think they value that. This might be one of those hidden gems. So that's why I always make it clear, you know, to anyone that I try to put put any kind of game on to um, improving their chances here on task grab but always recommend or just your business in general getting a customer review can go a long way and that's even something i've been kind of slacking on when it comes to like my google my business review uh reviews and whatnot like i don't even i like never even think about it. i have a ton of repeat customers like you know someone i'll be seeing today uh and yet i never even really ask him so I'm, I'm slacking on that you know to some extent i got you know maybe there's 10 or 20 reviews on my um uh google my business listing but you know here on task rabbit i got you know hundreds so you know i'm mindful of how to play the game here on task rabbit and i think this is one of those overlooked areas that taskers don't think about is just asking customers to leave a written review don't just ask for a review, a written review. That is going to be huge. Because then you can go and use this also for your website. The other aspect of that, that you got to be mindful of. If you go to look at adamhelper.com, I might have a section in there with reviews um, or testimonials, something like that. Um, that includes Google My Business plus TaskRabbit reviews from customers. And um, that's what they uh, rely on oftentimes to help them make their decisions, seeing what other people say. So I'm going to wrap it up there, my friends. Again, if you thought this video was helpful, smash that thumbs up. And while you are down below, let me know what you think. Did I hit everything that should be considered? Um, I mean, of course, when it comes to just getting people to actually click on you and, and, and choose you, I think your profile picture is going to um, help uh, influence or factor into things. Personally, I think Kevin could make a better profile picture. I will be honest. I think he can give a big, a better smile. Kevin's a good guy. You know, he's not a bad looking brother. I think in this, he's just like, eh, let me just take a picture quickly for the, for the app, you know, but like <laughs> same with Max. It's like, Max don't look happy. He don't look like, I don't know. I don't want to. And I know maybe people are like, Hey, I don't care about working with like a happy looking you know mover but like sean shout out my man sean and he got the fire truck in the background that is smart right he might just be visiting he might not have nothing to do with any kind of you know fire thing but he's smiling got him inside of a van i think that works well in that sense i think kevin's might be ah, it looks like he's in the truck maybe but um you know my picture really quickly i have a professional picture which you know i i like it joseph's got the smile and everything he looks he looks like he's strong like perfect smiling bam pearly whites you know smiling what am i doing i'm smiling I, you know now i'm probably among the few that actually am using like uh like a professional picture um which i think this is like my linkedin picture and stuff too and you know technically i need a new picture this is a little old i'll be honest but you know i've asked customers even ones who you know although this is a little old at this point i'll ask customers and some of them will point out they like the professionalism um now 
but aside from John, no one else is really doing the professional approach. That's what I'm doing. That's my strategy. But I think you don't need to do that. I do think a smile is going to help more than just <laughs> kind of just looking. Um, or at least I think Max kind of got the mean mug. I don't know. Is it just me? What do you guys think? Is Max mean mugging right now? What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And um, if you want more tips and tricks to help you with making, managing, and growing your money, especially here on TaskRabbit, um, well, consider checking out this video here next. All right, my friends, I got to keep it moving. I'll see you in this next video. Peace.